Hello, my loves, and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone Leah, and I am your host. And today, I would love to do a life update for you guys. I'm currently in Greece, staying in Athens. I will have been here for two months when I leave. And I wanted to fill you guys in on everything that's been happening for me and everything that's changed for me because it does affect the way the channel will be and the sort of content I'm putting out there. And I just thought it'd be really good to give you guys an update. So it's currently June and I started this YouTube channel and podcast, I believe in February. And at the time I was in Australia and I had said at the start of the year to the universe, please remove anything that's no longer in my highest purpose. And the universe delivered. Oh my goodness, did it deliver. Be careful what you wish for. I really should have combated that in by saying, please remove everything that's no longer in my highest purpose purpose in the most aligned, easiest, gentlest way, because it kind of just felt like so much happened in the months before I left Australia that I didn't even know which way was up. It was like just repeatedly being in a washing machine for literally, I think it was three months three months, it was a really hectic six or seven weeks of just emotional thing after emotional thing after emotional thing. And it got to the point where even though I was doing the podcast and I love the podcast, there was just so much going on. And I was like, oh my goodness, like I can't even keep up with what's going on anymore. And I was supposed to be coming over to Greece, to Athens for three weeks anyway with friends. And I made the decision two and a half weeks before I was due to leave that I would just buy a one-way ticket. So essentially, I had two and a half weeks to pack up my house. My car actually decided that it would become not so happy. So I had car trouble. I had to pack up a house. I had to clean it. had to rent it out and still, you know, keep the channel going and plan a trip overseas and try and figure out what was going on. And It was all a lot, really. So here we are, and I've been over here, and I think I'm coming into my eighth week over here. And I I feel like I'm so different. I'm also exactly the same, but (laughs) I'm also so different. And it's really interesting, I think, that the reason why I came over here, the reason why I was coming for that three weeks is for dance training. I am a Latin dancer. I do a lot of salsa. I also do bachata, but mostly specializing in salsa. I love salsa. And for those who don't know, uh, dancing is actually my weakest link. I started with singing. I did. I just was singing before I could talk, actually. I was singing and songwriting as a kid and started singing lessons, started teaching singing when I was 17, 18 years old from home and started playing the piano, writing songs, all of that sort of thing. I did drama at school. I did some musicals, that sort of thing. But dancing was always my weakest link. And I remember going out to nightclubs when I was like 19 years old and being embarrassed at how bad my dancing is. So dancing is literally like something I've never been overly confident with. And Obviously, I started a dance studio. I had a pole dancing studio and I trained so much for that. And I loved it. And I created something really, really special for what I was doing. And I loved that for myself. But it also introduced me to Latin dancing. I hadn't done any Latin dancing before that because when I had the pole studio, I was training um, in lots of different styles to aid what I was teaching people in the studio. Like I thought the more styles I start to learn and become comfortable with, the more that's going to help my students in the pole dancing studio. So I started learning Latin dancing and that sort of thing. And I absolutely loved it. And then had some life things come up, dated a guy, traveled a lot, stopped dancing. So I really only danced salsa and Latin dancing for maybe six to eight months. And then I had probably more than a 10 year break. And I started dancing again in 2019. And obviously the universe and life came and did some things and shook some stuff up. And obviously the world was a little bit shut down. So that also stopped me from dancing for a little while as well. But I love it so much. And my teacher actually was bringing a group of us overseas to train for three weeks at a studio over here in Athens. So I jumped on the chance to do that because 
I want to create a life where I'm actually following what makes me feel joyful. And so many times people say to me, what do you want to get out of dancing? Why are you dancing? Like, what, what do you want to be a teacher? What, like, what's the go? And to be honest, it's what's bringing me joy. It's what's fueling me. It, it brings my heart alive. I'm so happy. I smile. I love training. Like it's just something that brings me so much joy. And for me, dancing, it's less about the destination and more about the journey. And I'm enjoying that journey. So <laughs> I came overseas for that first three weeks with a group of 10 other people to train in salsa in Latin dancing. And the training here is phenomenal, guys. Like I can't even put into words. I'm training at a place called Salsa Do with two amazing professional international dancers, Tanner and Murto, and they are both like phenomenal, phenomenal dancers and people. I feel so warm um, and welcomed here and kind of already feel like part of the family before, like even within two weeks, I felt like part of the family. And the thing about here is I can still live like life. I can still do my business. I can still create YouTube channel, like YouTube content, um, podcast content, but I can also dance. In Australia, I lived far away from the training, at least an hour and 15 minutes from the sort of training that I was wanting to do. And so it was not feasible for me to train all the time because of the amount of hours it took me just physically to get to where I was going. And also in Australia, you can only train for like, you know, a couple of hours a night. Whereas over here, I train for three hours a night, four days a week, and it's less than two kilometers to the studio. So I literally just get to really live and experience this and grow and learn and train and evolve as a dancer while I'm here and, and learning and still creating business content and still working with my clients and still living my life, but also following that joy as well. So <laughs> that's why I'm here. Um, and it's been full on because I spent that first three weeks with my friends, the people that I came over here with, and that was really full on. I was living with people, two girls. They were lovely. It was a really nice experience. But I haven't lived with people for a while. It made it very, it was just different. You know, I was sharing space with people, you know, and that's always a different experience because you're planning, especially in this way that we were kind of on a trip together. You're planning, do we all go for coffee together? Does anyone need to go to the supermarket? And there's a lot more of co-living. And so trying to get work done in that time was a, a lot harder. Um, and also trying to really deal with or uh, acknowledge the three to four months before that was also really hard as well because I wasn't really feeling that I had that space, which obviously I'm like, that. it's fine. That's what I was doing. You know, I was, I was over here to live with people. It was fine. But I feel like there was so much that I still needed to process from the start of the year. So after everybody left, um, I did go to a couple of dance festivals because we have dance festivals all the time here in Europe and they are so fun. And you just go and you learn during the day, you do workshops and then you go and dance in the evening and it's a super fun time. But the ones I had booked were in different countries, which again meant that I was traveling every three to four days, living in different Airbnbs. Again, not really an environment where I could really just let go and process the year. And then, so last Monday, I just was like, I can't do it. I can't travel anymore. I just need to be stable for a little while and process what I need to process and get some work done. Because <laughs> I essentially had done minimal amounts of work for two months. And so on Monday last week, I moved to this beautiful house. As you can see, I have a beautiful piano here. Other musical instruments are around and I feel just so at home here because I'm surrounded by the things that I feel good around. You know, I'm surrounded by light. I'm surrounded by nature. There's trees and garden outside. I have a cute little balcony. I'm surrounded by musical instruments, which as a singer, it makes me feel so at home to have musical instruments here. And like this beautiful piano that I love also means the acoustics in this place are great. And the place is soundproofed, as you guys can probably hear, there is no traffic, but it also means that I can sing and dance and practice and make as much noise as I want. And I don't really worry about anything. 
which also is amazing for filming. <laughs> and um, and so I came here and I'm here until the end of the month. And I did last week just trying to get through the week. I think I had was just exhausted, honestly, emotionally, physically. I was exhausted. I just needed some space and I just got myself through the week and that was fine. And on Friday, I just relaxed and I just let myself sit for a minute. I let myself have a day where I tried to do nothing. I went to the beach. I wanted around some shops. I literally didn't put any pressure on myself. And Friday night, I watched a couple of movies. I haven't watched any TV at all for a goodness knows how long now. No Netflix, nothing. I haven't even got time to, to be honest. Um, but I really wanted to watch something to help move me and move some of the stuff I was going through. So I did that and started to feel things really shift and to start to process. And on Saturday, I woke up and again, just relaxed for the day. And then I, I wrote a couple of letters to some people that I needed to express some things to and get some things out of myself to help me be able to process the start of the year. And that was really amazing. I moved a lot of energy in that. And it was Saturday evening that I realized that I needed to write a letter to myself and really feel the things that I needed to feel within myself, not directed at other people. And so I wrote this beautiful letter to myself, forgiving myself for all of the things that had come up, you know, forgiving myself and accepting where I'm at and what has happened and, you know, really addressing any of the patterns that I noticed had come up this year any of the feelings that I didn't want to feel and where they had come from and the patterns in those feelings and really just taking that time to honor and nurture myself for three days, you know? And I think that for the entire year, I just hadn't felt grounded. I hadn't felt settled. I had just felt like I was on in a washing machine. As I said, I just felt like I was in a washing machine for so many months and being able to feel that groundedness and nurture myself for three days was huge. I moved so much energy. Like you guys can probably see how much lighter I am today and how much more calm my energy field feels. Like I just feel so calm and relaxed and at peace. And so I wrote that letter on the sun Saturday and then on the Sunday I did a few things, nothing, nothing overly stressful. And I'm super excited because today's Monday. And I woke up and I was excited to do filming. I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm excited to go to the studio and train tonight. Like I'm so excited about my life in general now. You know, it wasn't that I wasn't before, but I was just tired and I just had stuff that I needed to process. And I'm, I'm doing that now, you know, I'm processing and I'm creating and I'm dancing and I'm living and I'm experiencing new things. And it's beautiful. And I think that, some of the biggest things that have come up for me and that are changing my life are the fact that I don't want to settle for anything anymore. I don't want to settle for a life of anything. I can't see myself right now. I can't see myself moving back to Australia because for me, that would be settling. You know, I want to be somewhere where I can dance as much as I want to dance. I want to be somewhere where I can travel if I want to travel. I want to be somewhere where I can live in the city or go to the country or go to the beach. I want to be somewhere where I can have everything. I want to have everything, you know, I don't want to settle anymore, you know, and it's not that I ever thought that I was settling, but there were little things that I was compromising on within myself that I'm just not doing anymore. And even down to the words of this podcast, which are create your life, you know, I didn't call it law of attraction your life, attract in your ideal life. I didn't call it that. I called it create your life. And I think that the biggest thing that's landing for me now is how much we really do just need to create it. If you want to go do something, go and do it. Create that for yourself. Yes, have the feelings. Yes, attract it in. But there's an element of creation here and an element of doing. And I feel like a lot of people, they get lost in the feeling of things and the law of attraction of things, but taking aligned action is creation. And that's part of the law of attraction. Taking aligned action is part of the law of attraction. 
And so as far as the channel goes, it's going to be so much more than just about business and meditation. It's going to be literally about creating the life of your dreams, you know, literally create it. What do you want to do? What do you need to research? What's lighting you up? I spend so much time looking at properties to rent in Athens at the moment that it's not even funny, you know, like it's literally where my spare time goes. I'm either dancing, I'm either doing work stuff, or I'm looking at places that I could stay in Athens, you know? And to me, that's lighting me up. It's making me excited. It's making me want everyone to live like this. You know, I live in a house where I feel safe and I have a grand piano. That to me, I'm like, oh my goodness, like it's amazing. You know, I love this for me. I love this. I love what I'm doing and I love who I am. And I love even coming over here and experiencing so many different things. And the first three months of the year, feeling like I'm in a washing machine, I literally love who I was through all of that. You know, I never, I felt like I was reacting to a lot of things, but I don't feel like I was ever reactive. I never lost who I was. I never acted out of integrity. I never acted out of alignment in my actual way of being, if that makes sense. And when I say that is sometimes when life throws stuff at you, you can get stressed, you can get snappy, you can get, you know, angry, or you can get frustrated. And I never let any of what was going on take me away from who I am, which is love and calm and light and joy and I'm so proud of myself for that. And I'm so proud of where I am and who I've become and the journey that I'm on. And I'm never going back, you know, guys, I'm never going back to a life that I'm not wholeheartedly creating. I'm never going back to a life of compromising what I, what I want or what I can and can't have, you know, and that's what I want for everybody else. It's like, I don't necessarily know what the future is going to hold. I don't necessarily know where I'm going to be in three months time. I don't know. You know, I have a rough idea that, you know, I might be back in Australia for a little while, but in six months time, I don't know if I'll be in Australia. I don't know if I'll be in Europe. I don't know where I'll be. And it's taking so much just letting go and trusting and surrendering that my heart will lead me the right way. And one of the biggest things that I'm noticing is how much I feel the yeses and the nos. You know, I really feel what's a solid yes for me now when someone asks me something and I really feel what's a solid no. And there's also some maybes, which I find really interesting as well. And I really try not to get caught up on the maybes because I want solid yeses. So I feel like this life update, okay, it's gone for a little while. It's been a massive overshare and it's probably relevant to nothing, but that's okay. (laughs) I feel like What I want you guys to take away from all of this and from this channel is that you literally can create whatever life you want. Like I always believed it and I always was doing it and I always loved my life, but now it's like this whole next level of trust and surrender and joyful creation that I've never experienced before. It's like I'm in a whole different dimension where I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to be stressed. I just get to live and, and be present and create and feel. And it's so, so beautiful. And it's exactly what I want for all of you. So I hope you enjoy this channel because there is going to be life tips on here. There's going to be tips for every entrepreneur who wants to build their business, build systems, have a podcast, have a YouTube channel, but also travel, also have balance, also meditate, also create their life you know, who wants to find more love, who wants to find more joy. This is the channel for the people who really want to just create something magical and they know that entrepreneurship is the way for them. And that's that's who I'm speaking to, the people who don't want limitation on their life, the people who want to have everything now. That's what I'm having. I'm doing it. I'm just everything. I want everything now. I'm, I'm not prepared to settle anymore. Everything is just it's beautiful and it's magical. And I've just trust and surrendered everything. That's not it, you know, just letting go and just being, and it's really nice. It's really, 
it's the calmest I've felt in years. Like, look at me, guys. I'm so calm and I'm so light and I'm so happy. And all I've done is let go. That's it. All I did was just let go and and decide what I wanted to create. And then I just jumped. And here we are and I'm still jumping, but I don't feel like I'm falling. I'm not falling. I'm just, I'm just present. And I'm just moving forward all the time in the direction I want to go. And I'm creating all the time. And it's beautiful. And I really want that for you guys. So please connect with me. Leave me a comment. Tell me what your experiences are. Give me your life updates. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear if this has helped you in any way or sparked anything within you, any inspiration, any ideas. I would love to hear from you guys. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. 